What is up? Today I'm going to talk to you about something super important, which is how to understand if your projects are actually profitable, how to better plan for them and better understand what's going on in your business. But here's the catch. It's going to involve a spreadsheet. And if you're like me, then you don't really like spreadsheet. But the fact that we creative people don't really like dealing with spreadsheets is the reason why most of us don't make enough money or at least the money that we deserve to make because we don't really understand how our business works. We don't have great visibility into the metrics, into what goes down. And you know we don't do a recap a lot of the time on the projects when we finish them to really understand what happened versus what we thought was happening. So the concept of doing estimates and actuals is something that you know I knew that I should be doing this, but I never did it actually. Um, and the, the Futures Business Bootcamp kind of gave a perspective and, and a framework to think about this. And they offered uh, kind of this spreadsheet. I've created my own version, but more or less the same. Uh, it's the same principles. And I want to show you how I structured it and how I'm about to use it. I've already started using it today when planning a proposal. So let's get right into it. So this is basically my spreadsheet right here. And I'm going to start filling this spreadsheet right when I'm planning the project. So before I even do the proposal. So I'm just going to say, let's say this is a web design project, web design. Um, and let's say I've est I I've priced it at um, you know fifteen thousand dollars. And obviously, I value price this. So but before I you know, send out the proposal, I need to understand maybe, you know, $15,000 is what it's worth to them, but maybe it will take me too, too long to do. So I don't even know if $15,000 is profitable or unprofitable for me. So let's say now I've started to think about the stuff that I have to do. So let's say I have to do strategy with them. I'm going to keep this really short. And I think this is going to take me three hours. Um, and my rate, let's say it's 250, then I'm going to have to do art direction. Uh, it's going to take me five hours, again, at 250 uh, rate. So I can already see that it's going to consume eight hours of my time and it's going to cost me, if I want to make $250 an hour, it's going to cost me um, $2,400. But I'm also going to say, let's say I'm going to use a Webflow dev in this project and it's going to take them 10 hours to build this project and they're charging me $25 per hour. So the Webflow development is going to be $250. So the actual cost of this project is uh, and I'm also adding to this calculation buffer of 20% because I know that most times things don't work as well as uh, I think they are. So, but right now it looks amazing. It looks like it costs me if I want to make $250 an hour. Uh, it's cost me $2,700 and I'm making uh, $15,000. So it's probably super profitable for me, obviously. But now that I'm going to do this project, I'm going to just say it to track my time and then I'm going to put in at the end of the project, what were my actual hours? So maybe strategy turned out to be eight hours and maybe art direction took 10 hours. Um, and maybe the web flow development ended up taking 15 hours. So the actual cost, as you can see, was higher than what I anticipated it, right? I uh, estimated that it's going to cost me $2,000, it ended up costing me almost $5,000. And here's what's interesting. Now I can see what the profit is, assuming that this is the real cost of the project and I'm making $250 an hour, there is a profit of $10,000 left in the business. Or if I want to see what I actually earned hourly, so my actual hourly rate ended up at $800, right? Because I only worked eight hours. I've paid, uh, I've paid 250. So all everything left, if you divide it by eight hours, ends up being $800 an hour. So this is pretty simple and straightforward, but I've never done this before. And I did this today for two projects, one that I recently completed and it ended up being great. It ended up being at $900 per hour, the actual rate, so that's amazing. But I also did it for a project which I'm sending a proposal in, and over the, I already discussed the price with them, but today I sat down to actually write my estimate, and it turned out that 
uh, it's going to take more hours than I estimate. And so it's not going to be as profitable as I thought. So I can still think about whether I want to do this project or not, but I have a visibility into what's going to happen. And obviously I'm going to track it after the project end to see what really happened. But I kind of have like the red sign warning as to where the project is going to be. All right. This is, I think, super, super crucial. I wish I did this. If I had data for all the projects that I did during the last five, 10 years, I think I would be in a completely different place. But better late than never. I'm going to start this today. I'm going to do this for every project that I do from now on. Hope you do too. Have a super day. I'll catch you tomorrow.